a popular photography magazine published a story stating that, well, they haven't used a lens hood in years, and neither have their photography pals. So are lens hood a useless bit of camera kit that companies insist in putting our kit for no apparent reason other than to charge us another few bucks? Stick around after this short break for all the details, especially if you want to know the purpose of a lens hood and if you need to use one. But first, subscribe to this channel for a chance to win a Canon EOS R5. I'll be giving one away to one lucky subscriber once this channel reaches 100,000 subscribers. Anyone above the age of 18 with a valid mailing address is eligible. Additional terms and conditions are linked in the description down below. Who even uses these bloody things anymore? I thought this might be some sort of satire, a joke, a way to get people's attention to discuss the importance of using a lens hood, when to use it, why not to use it, but it wasn't. But then I stopped for a moment and thought about it more earnestly. Seriously, who uses a lens hood these days? He said he knew what a lens hood does and why I should use one. I spent four years in commercial and editorial photography, and hoods were a requisite part of my kit bag. Unlike the author of the article, I feel it's important to back up my argument with some valid points. I'm going to be clear and concise here. The first reason to use a lens hood is, well, simply put, it protects your valuable lenses. Some of us shoot with multiple cameras. We'll have one slung over our shoulder with a, with a camera strap and uh, we'll walk it around. And I don't know about you, but I'm constantly, more often than I'd like to admit, bumping my lenses into walls, into chairs, into the floor, or all sorts of other things. And when you've got a lens hood on, it takes that impact. It protects your lens. And it's one of the cheapest way to protect your lens. So that's the primary reason for having a lens hood or I think one of the most important ones is protecting your gear. Second, what's really important for us as photographers and videographers is capturing the scene, capturing it, maximizing our contrast ratio, maximizing our dynamic range, maximizing every aspect of our camera. And when we're constantly looking at cameras and looking at upgrading to the next one, that might only offer one stop improvement over any of these attributes such as contrast. Well, not using that lens hood um, kind of takes away those advantages. I suggest watching this video from the School of Photography that shows the difference between using a lens hood on your contrast. And here they're using a lens hood. Now, as they take the lens hood off, notice the difference in contrast. We lose a lot of contrast as we start to move closer to our light source that enters in from the side of the lens, reducing contrast and even providing slight haziness to the images. So simply put, those are my two main arguments for using a lens hood with your lens. One, it protects it. Number two, it ensures that you have the best contrast you can possibly get out of your camera without it, well, without stray light interfering with it. And I think that's really important. Now, I do want to address a couple of points regarding the creativity, as the author pointed out, because a lot of us at times do want lens flares and we do want a certain haziness to our images. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to produce lens flare from time to time. But they can be easily added in post, giving us the exact type of lens flare we want with more options. And of course, if we don't like it, we can undo it and try again. But I do understand the appeal of using your skill and experience to generate this in the field. But these are niche scenarios. Most of us don't go for lens flare most of the time. And then there's haziness. And again, the author shows an example of an image that has some haziness to it to produce a certain effect. Again, this can be added in post and with much better control, allowing fine-tuned control over the haziness, the type of haziness, the color and all that sort of stuff. I think for most of us, a lens hood is important. It does maximize our investment, allows us to get the most we can possibly out of our camera when it comes to contrast ratio and of course, protecting our gear. I do understand wanting to create a lens flare and wanting to be able to create a certain haziness or look, but a lot of times this is done in post. I don't know anybody, including my photography friends, that want to produce this all the time, that don't mind wanton stray light coming in from the side to produce a, a low contrast image. And you've got to be very careful about how you set this up. It's getting the camera at the right angle to let in the right amount of light. And again, if that's something you want to do, I get it. But you see, how many of us started out with our first camera? We got a lens and we thought, eh, okay, lens cap I get. Now, but what's the point of this lens hood? Let's take a few pictures with it and without. Okay, and for most of us, we didn't see a difference. So, eh, we don't need this. 
But you see, when you put out a story like this and people who are starting out, they, they get their camera and they read a story like this, they'll go like, yep, yeah, you see, there was no point to that. And then somewhere down the line, they're doing whatever, they're going about their daily lives, they cut the camera with them, and bam, they knock it into the wall, into a chair or into something solid and damage the lens. And then at that point, they're looking at a very expensive repair bill. I, I, that's the biggest problem I have with this article. It goes on a rant, but while the author says, I understand why it's re re requisite for my kit, he doesn't go on to say why and the, the importance of it. And furthermore, when he talks about the haziness and lens flare, he doesn't give us any tips or pointers on how to get the best lens flare, on how to get the best haziness for our images and how to deal with that sun coming in, what angle we need to set things up at, how do we re reproduce those results? I mean, I could go ahead and say that, you know what, what's the point of using primes? Who uses primes anymore? After all, a zoom like this 24 to 105 gives me all the focal lengths I need. Primes are silly. I don't know anybody, including my photography friends, that uses primes. But that would be silly, wouldn't it? Now, while I could go ahead and use a 24 to 105, a 70 to 200, or a 70 to 135, 60 to 160, whatever it is, to say that I don't know why anybody would want to use primes, well, it's silly. And what you're doing is for people who really don't understand they're starting out, they latch onto this and think it's something credible, some good advice. And that's where this really gets me going. This is where, that's why I'm doing this video. I just, I looked at this article and at first I thought it was all satire and they're teasing us and saying, look, you know, there are good reasons to use a lens hood. But, you know, I read the whole thing and I shared it with a friend of mine and he did the same thing. He's like, I, I don't get this. And, and articles like this, they don't provide any value. They don't give you any, it's just a rant. But again, if he had gone into more detail saying, okay, look, and if you're not going to use a lens hood, this is the best way to get the best lens flare. If you're trying to produce this result or this result, this is what you want to do if you want to get haziness. And the reason why you might want to do this is this and this. This is really good for beginners starting out. For all of us that know what a lens hood is and why we should use it, well, I should say we wouldn't have read the article anyway, but I did. And I, mo if it wasn't for this channel, I probably would have just gone on by because, well, what's the purpose of a lens hood? Well, I clearly know the purpose of a lens hood. And I think one of the most important reasons is protecting your lenses, but also it's ensuring that you get the best possible contrast. And I do believe in shooting, getting your shots as best as you possibly can out in the field um, and doing the least amount of editing when you get into post. But I also understand that when it comes to photography these days, there's so much that you can do in post to take an ordinary image and make it extraordinary. But you know, maybe I'm clearly off my rock or maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing a baseless rant and this author has a lot of good points. I'd really not like to know what you think. Do you use lens hoods when you shoot? What type of scenarios do you shoot in? I'd really love to have your feedback because I, I've, I've, I've read this article a few times. I've been mulling putting out this video for the past, well, almost eight hours now. And I finally decided I'm gonna do it um, and I might get some backlash over it, but I really wanna know because you know what? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an expert by any means in photography or videography. I'm learning as I go and uh, just simple things such as ND filters. And I could have done a rant about who uses ND filters anymore? I don't and neither do my video friends, but um, yeah, my video friends do use NDs and as much as I try not to use them, I have several and use them myself. You can always go off on a rant of why not to do something, but I think as somebody that's, we, we do influence people, whether we're writing, whether we're tweeting, whether we're doing a YouTube video, we're influencing people and we're, we're informing people. And I think it's very good, I think it's very important that whenever we do that, we think of how the audience might interpret what we're saying. And so that's why I want to focus on why a lens hood is important. And maybe you don't shoot with them and that's fine. I'd especially like to hear from you and maybe the types of scenarios you're shooting with, it, it, you don't have to worry about light coming in from the side and it's just no need. And you're not a klutz like me. You're not always walking into things, but let me know that in the comment section down below. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe and choose all notifications. It really helps get this channel noticed. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest camera news and rumors, whether it's news, big news or small news, then go ahead and follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter. I even put out pricing information. We just had some announcements on lenses last week, two lenses, and I got the information within just a few hours, a few minutes of the announcement. So I tweeted that out right away. Fujifilm is one example. And um, 
uh, a Sigma, what was it, 100 to 400 millimeter and some other lenses. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter or X as well. But that's it for now. Have yourself a great weekend and we'll see you again soon.